So without further ado, let's get into. Hey, you got the... you a dollar? Hey, you got you a dollar? You need a what? I don't have a dollar. Why, why are you in my apartment? Get out. I walk up to Brooklyn and I saw you with a camera. And in Miami, people with cameras, they got money. So people with money, I got follow. So I walked in here. And I kept on walking. And then I saw you. And then I kept thinking, do I need to talk to him? Yo, or do get I just follow him? So I How followed you. Get... Yo, go. Come on, man. I know you got one dollar, man. Just one dollar. You know, I'm really hungry, man. Man, I'm really struggling, man. You know? And I really. Yo, get out of my really apartment. Just... How'd you get. Alright, man. I'm going. I'm going, man. You ain't got to push me, man. You ain't got to push me. I'm going. Go. But look, let me tell you one. Let me tell you one more. Why are you in my I, apartment? I, get out. I got you. I get. How'd you get here? We just experienced the local Miami crackhead. Yep, let's talk about it. Oh my God, the homeless people of Miami. Before moving to Miami, I've never met a homeless person. I have been harassed, verbally abused, verbally attacked, physically attacked, and just pretty much everything above. And it wouldn't be a problem if, if it was a pretty rare occurrence, but no, every time you go out, especially here in downtown, every time I go out, there's a homeless person on every single block. Number one, Miami, that is not good. That's an issue. We should try to fix the homeless issue. I'm not saying push them out, but, you know, give it, try to give them housing or something. Like, yo, we make a lot of money doing concerts and festivals and all type of random stuff. So I know we have the money to be able to invest to help the homeless because it's literally an issue. Like, I live in downtown, which is over here, right? You know, you have all the big buildings. The homeless people of Miami literally have no shame. And I'm going to be honest with you, most of the people that's homeless are African-American. I don't know if they think we just have something in common because of our skin color. Because literally, I would see a homeless guy sitting there and I would literally be like getting anxiety because I know he's gonna talk to me. But there'd be a couple, like a white, Hispanic, or whatever couple walking right in front of me. And the homeless guy would literally let that person or whoever the couple, whatever, walk by. But the minute me, let's say my roommate's with me, the minute we step past this guy, hey, yo, 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 hey, can I get a dollar? Hey, just one dollar. Like literally, that's their voice. When I did a little skit, whatever, I wasn't making that shit up. That's how they sound. Can I get a dollar? And if you try to politely say no, they get aggressive. Yo, why not? Like, let me get a dollar. You don't got a dollar? But no, I don't have a dollar. I don't have a dollar. And the worst ones are the ones with the dog. Yo, I don't even know. How does a homeless guy get a dog? I see it. Whole dogs, families of dogs. How? I saw a window with a chicken. I don't get it. So I guess this brings me into my second issue with Miami, and that is the public transit system. Specifically, I'm talking about the Metro Mover. You don't know what the Metro Mover is. Here in Miami, there's a thing called the Metro Mover, and it takes you from the downtown to Brickwood area. But number one, I should mention, it breaks down pretty much every day. It's gonna be like a 30% chance that it's delayed. But oh, no, 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 no. I don't wanna talk about the train itself. I wanna talk about the people on the train. Yes, the public transit people. People, 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 people. I want you to understand this right here. I literally hate riding the Metro just because of the people. The Metro system, literally attracts the worst bottom of the barrel human trash of people I've ever met in my life. People that have no regard of your public safety, people that have no regard of your public space, people that don't give a fuck about what you got going on, they're just on the metro and it, this, their, this is their metro. I don't have this on recording, it's gonna sound crazy. Like People are not gonna believe Things, these things happen. I want to tell you guys some stories and you're not going to believe me. You're not going to believe me because they're going to sound so crazy. But these are all public metro system stories. All right, so which story should I tell first? Because I have a lot of them. So I have a story. In the story, let's call the guy. I like to move and move it. I'm getting off of work. You know, pretty chill day. Nothing bad going on. But of course, when you're on the metro, there's like a 100% chance somebody's going to get on it. That's fucking absurd. The first thing that I hear is, yo, move! And he's talking to me. I'm a pretty unconfrontational person. You know, I don't like to fight people, especially when they have no regard for public decency. Like, if you're, just, if you're screaming, yo, move to like a stranger you've never met, you probably just don't care. You might, I, I don't know what you got going on. So if I yell back, you might end up trying to kill me. So I don't, I don't even try to, you know, fight those problems. So, you know, I did the only correct thing to do and I politely stepped aside. I was not even gonna deal with that. And you know, the Metro is typically, especially at 2 p.m. when people are getting off work and yada yada, it's pretty crowded. You know, it's not a very, it's not open space. But this guy, I guess, apparently he thought this was his Metro and he deserved all the room in there. Because literally, and I mean this, I mean this, from the old people down to the little kids, this guy is literally pushing people out of his fucking life. He's, move, get out of my way. 
what is going on? What is ha- Why do- why do I have to experience this? Just today, today, I just forgot today. There was a guy in the Metro, literally, I don't even know, harassing this dude for his phone because he wanted to make a phone call. You could hear it from the other side of the Metro. Yo, man, I need your phone, man. I need your phone. You gave me your phone, but I need it again because I gotta make that phone call. You never made the phone call, but I gotta make the, and that's, just, that's all you hear. I don't know where they come from, but he doesn't have any social awareness, I guess. I don't know, he just, Kept rambling on and on. And then when we got off, of course he had to get off at my stop. The guy was literally walking beside the guy, trying to get the phone. Like I literally, I'm, I'm witnessing this. And I just felt so bad. But the guy was like, yo, give me your phone, man. I need your phone. And this one, the dude piped, he was like, yo, I gave you my phone, leave me the fuck alone. And then when I get to the, the bottom of the steps, that's just crackhead just down there. And I'm just like, what is the Metro experience? Here we are. You know, my apartment's pretty nice. You know, I'm pretty happy with what I got. But, you know, that's it is a big problem with living in downtown and, you know, trying to keep up with the, the Joneses, the people would say. You know, it's expensive as shit, you know? Living in Miami is expensive. And I know you're probably like, of course, Ty, we know this. We know Miami is expensive. No, you don't know. Let me explain to you what I mean, Miami is expensive. Oh, you see this beautiful kitchen? Nice, beautiful kitchen. Look at this fridge, oh wow. Nice stainless steel, 10 year orangey too, oh, that's nice. Nice, nice kitchen, but the only problem is there's nothing in it. So if I open up this fridge, you know, what's okay. Oh, that's nice. Actually, these are just empty pizza boxes because you know, all we can eat and afford is pizza, you know. You know, when I used to grow up watching movies and I always saw like frat boys eating pizza and they were broke as shit, I never understood why pizza was always the representation of being broke, but now I get it. You know, it's because it's the only thing you can really afford inside of here. We have a lot of ice cream, you know. I eat a lot of ice cream to just eat the sadness away, you know. Because when I go out, you know, living in Miami, and you go out and you see people driving Lambos and living a good life and have fancy meals to eat that's ten thousand dollars, and then I come home and I look at my I look at my fridge, I got ten empty fucking pizza boxes. You know, I really have to have to have to deal with that in some way. You know, I eat ice cream, you know. I don't really have much in here, you know. I don't have any pots and pans. I don't have. You know, it's a toothbrush in there. I don't know why. And yes, I love my apartment, but this apartment is not cheap. So I spend a whopping $21.50, not alone, because I do have a roommate, $2,150 for rent. That's not including utilities and all that. Working here, you don't make enough to live a livable life. Meaning, you know, of course you can live, you have rent paid and you can probably eat here and there, but to like travel, see the world. And I know that probably sounds like, oh, you don't need it, but you know, to me, I think that's a part of living life, like having experiences. When you're broke as shit, you can't do that. You know, how how can I take off any time of work to stop paying bills, to go travel to who knows where I wanna go, work my ass off for like a, two weeks in advance just to have enough, just to go on a trip for a couple of days? At this point, I've gotten so good at budgeting that I definitely wanna make a full video on how to budget. So I do wanna say, um, I made the, I titled the video, I regret moving to Miami, but of course, I don't hate Miami. I still love this city. A lot of you guys have been here since I moved to Miami, which is crazy to think about because when I first moved to Miami, I was only 20 years old, you know? I was a kid, still a kid, a technique, really. I was such a baby, I just didn't understand a lot of things about life and you know what it meant to move out and be on your own, and a lot of you guys literally witnessed me grow up from a kid to who I am today. I don't think you guys truly understand the importance of this to me. I use this to remind me every day to keep pushing for my dreams. Like a lot of people, a lot of you guys probably don't think that that works or it's hocus pocus, but I'm telling you, no. I've gotten this far and not given up because, you know, I keep stuff like that to remind me why I even started this journey in the first place. This was a pretty different video for me. It was kind of more wacky. I wanted to try and just delve into me a little bit more because I'm pretty, I'm a pretty, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a nerd. Let's be honest with you, if you watch this video today and you will realize, Ty, you're a fucking nerd. I literally have glasses. I literally have glasses. I don't even wear glasses. These are just blue light. See you guys in the next video. Do what you do best. Like the video, comment, subscribe, you know, the, all the YouTuber things. I'm gonna see you guys next time. I love you so much. And with that being said,